in order for you to break free from whatever stronghold the devil claims in your life, you will need to choose to forgive the person who has wounded you. If you and I don't forgive or don't cancel the debt, the offense that was made against us, and we hold on to bitterness and we hold on to unforgiveness, you and I essentially end up giving permission to the devil to continue to hold claim in a stronghold in our lives. When followers of Jesus Christ forgive as God forgave us, we are in that moment choosing to entrust their judgment to God. And the second part is, and you reject those lies, which is what you do with lies, by the way, you reject it. When you reject those lies, spiritually speaking, whatever stronghold in your life the enemy has claimed, in that moment, it gets violently shaken. It becomes loose. It becomes loose so that the enemy's tormenting words no longer stick. The most lethal weapon that you as a follower of Jesus Christ have in rejecting the lies of the enemy is the word of God. Since vows are a response to the lies of the devil, the way you deal with vows is by renouncing those vows and resolving to trust God with your wound and with the healing of that wound. Now, when, when all of this backlog of soul surgery has taken place, what you essentially have end up, ended up doing is you've ended up building a very strong foundation on which to stand in power and authority and anointing to begin demolishing the strongholds in your life. And that's what you do with a stronghold. In that moment of hardship, you can go, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command any wicked spirits that have established a stronghold in, and you name it, whatever that is, whatever wicked spirit have established a stronghold, I command you now to leave in the name of Jesus Christ and go where Jesus sends you and take all of your works and it affects with you. It affects with you. Scripture says, as a follower of Christ, you are an heir of God. A co-heir with Christ. In other words, everything that's Christ is going to be yours. It's already yours in many respects. Furthermore, Scripture says that you as a follower of Christ, hear me on this. You, Ephesians says you are seated in Christ, who, by the way, is far above all rule, authority, power, and dominion. These are all evil spirits. Christ is seated above them. And Scripture says you're seated in him. As we wrap this series up, I think it's important to understand that breaking through the stronghold in your life is not a passive experience. In other words, you will need to engage the process to experience victory. You're doing this with confidence that God already chose you in Christ, not when you trusted in him, but scripture says before the foundations of the world were in place. You were predestined in love according to the God, good pleasure of God's will. He, God chose you in him with a heart that was filled to overflowing with love. And he knew you were a mess. There's nothing you can do to impress him. He can't love you anymore because his love was complete on the cross. 